In this video, I'm going to go over how to upload your written homework to the Gradescope program. So once you log into Gradescope, you'll have an option to submit an image or a PDF. So if you have a scanner and a printer, you print out your homework and you scan it in in a PDF, you can click on PDF. There's also a variety of different apps you can download on your cell phone to create images and convert them to PDFs. There's websites you can do that for. Um, if you're just going to use your phone and submit an image, you can click on Submit Image. And it's going to ask you to upload files. So the roster is broken down to page one, page two, page three. You can submit multiple images per page. So I can go and find some images Let's see if I go from however I want to organize my images, if I want to pull them from Google Drive or if I want to use, there's apps on your cell phone that you can actually download Gradescope and sign in and just attach the images straight from your cell phone. And just like you would on a variety of different sites, you can highlight them if you have three of them. So I'm going to select those three images for that one page. Let's say I'm going to find my other images for page two. You can upload the you can upload the same image for page one, page two, page three. If you did all your work on one page, you could upload that same image. You still need to do that though. Um, so let's see what submitting the assignment would look like. Once you submit the assignment, you will get a um, view of what my view would look like. So if you just take a few seconds to look at that to verify. There, you're going to be able to read it. So you can orientate it properly. So if this was page one, you can see what page one looks like. You can select all images. These are all the images here. So please verify that I can read it. I can see it. Nothing's cut off. Um, just make sure the lighting's great. The student's lighting wasn't the best but manageable. Make sure the picture's not blurry, things like that. So this is an example of a student that printed it off the PDF and then uploaded a, an image from their phone. And then you can go ahead and um, if you don't like it, you can hit resubmit. So the button behind my, my shirt here, resubmit, and you can repick your images or you can um, repick a PDF. If you select a PDF, you can only upload one PDF. So let's see an example here where I took the students and I merged it into three files as one PDF. And when I upload that PDF, here's where I will be able to select which pages go with which page. So you can see it was the same files. They were just merged into a PDF. And it was one thing to upload, uploaded that. So then I can select page one, this is page one, click on page two, this is page two, page three, this is page three. And then I can submit them. And it's going to submit it as a PDF. There are many different, um, again, you can see what that's going to look like in your view. And then you can resubmit it, look at the submission history, download the original. And you can reselect pages. Say, oh man, I, I put page one on page two. I'm going to fix that. You can do that here. And like I said before, there are hundreds and hundreds of ways to accomplish this. So depending on the type of software you use and the, the type of cell phone you have, if you have Android or Windows or iOS or, or whatnot. There's a million ways to do it. There's a variety of different websites as well um, that just does PDF converters. You can open them in Word documents and save them as PDFs. And I've had students do a wide variety of things. So if you guys have any specific questions, just keep me posted.